<clears throat> All right. Okay. Cool. How is it that Wretch starts at level 1 while having, like, comparable stats to the other starting classes? Oh, the Wretch doesn't even start out with, like, a board shield in this game. I'm assuming this is male and female, but it's not really specific. What's up, Zach? Well, let's just go with Jake, I guess. Ah, oh, I see. Oh, the face stays the same. <laughs> uh, anyway. Wow. They let you do that in this game. Okay, you can change that here as well. Nope, we're going nude. The past has been well and truly left behind. A poor... Okay. The options have flavor text. These just say no bearing on ability. Oh no, yeah, the uh... Oh, cool, so you're not going to magic tonight? <laughs> yeah, I actually want to read through the, the flavor text for all the different, like, class and keepsake option. Actually, I'll just do mine. That would take too long. A poor, purposeless sod, naked as the day they were born. A nice club is all they have. So... Increases maximum HP. That's probably an equipment slot. Lands Between Rune. The gold of grace shining in the eyes of the people of the Lands Between, used to gain many runes. I think runes might be the currency in this game, like souls are in the Dark Souls games. Golden Seed. Washed ashore from the Lands Between, said to reinforce sacred flasks. That might be a good one to take, actually. Because upgrades to your healing item are always good. Oh yeah. <laughs> Big time, big time bonking and no blocking. Fanged Imp Ashes. The ashes of small diminutive golems said to hold spirits with it. Cracked Pots. These three strange cracked pots that somehow mend themselves. Container for certain throne items. These are so weird. Two stone shaped keys, two stone keys shaped like swords. Breaks the seal on imp statues but can only be used once. Bewitching branch. Five sacred branches charged with beguiling power. Said to originate from the demigod Michaela. Michaela? Charged with beguiling power. This is so... Esoteric. I love it. <laughs> Boiled prawn. Delicious. Boost physical damage negation. Shibiri's woe. The crazed likeness of a noble whose eyes have been gouged out attracts enemies' aggression. That might be useful for co-op, maybe? Uh, I think I will take the... What was it? Yeah, I think I will take the flask upgrade, though. Interesting. Uh, origin. So warrior is the name of one of the starting classes, but it's also the name of, like, a background. The most common face among the tarnished, after all, they, they were all warriors once. Seafarer. 
This guy kind of looks like me, but with way more facial hair, if you can believe that. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> Welcome to it. Actually, hang on. I'm gonna. I might end up moving this back later, but my camera is a little bit in the way of. Where is it? Of the character model. Where do I put this? <laughs> Don't mind me. I'll just put it down there for now. Draconia. The stony face of the people of the ancient dragons among whom life is typically short. Hmm. That seems counterintuitive. Night folk. Few in number, they were said to bleed silver long ago. Supposed descendants of denizens of another world. Long lived but seldom born. Uh. Well, I'm gonna make myself nice and pale, of course. Not that pale. I think I will start with the seafarer. I think that, I think this is just like a base, it, it, like as it says, base template. It's just a a base for your actual character model customization. Oh man, there's gonna be a lot too. I hope I don't spend this entire stream just making my character because I want to get into the game. Uh, sample. It's pretty good. What about this one? Hmm. How to choose. Sure. Skin color. Oh boy! <laughs> Well, we've got plenty of time, so. Oh man, <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, there we go. Let's just make myself a little more. Huh? No. <laughs> I just wonder, well, I'll just pick something from... Yeah, I mean... That seems about accurate, I think. Something like that. Yeah, look at this guy. Bone structure? Oh my god. Uh... Man. All right, hold on a second. I'm just gonna borrow this. Uh, that's actually There. <laughs> uh, get rid of that. I don't need two of me on the screen at the same time. I need. To, <laughs> I need to have a reference of my own face. Let's get into the light a little bit better. So. Hmm. Let's find something with. Well, let's get rid of this beard first. That's gonna be the main thing. Uh, hair. Facial hair. Not nothing. Who do you think? <laughs> this guy. Uh, so face structure, bone structure.
The butt chin needs to be a little more subtle. Hmm. Actually, we might need to go even more pale if that's an option. I, I mean, obviously it's an option. Everything is an option for this damn thing. The nose doesn't change much. The nose is going to be... I can't... I can't... I can't profile the camera and look at it at the same I kind of can. We're not going to spend too much time in that. I hope. Can we get that noise a little pointier? Uh, honestly, this might be... I don't want to just go, like one across the board, but... Maybe this one? I don't know. Something mildly baby-faced. Not too chiseled. Kinda pointy in the chin, yeah, sure. Form emphasis. Is anything changing? No, I'm sure there will be other nose options. We have we probably haven't gotten to the advanced stuff yet. What? I don't know what this option does. I'm just going to leave it the way it was. Apparent age. 255 is the default setting for this. Here, let me move you out of the way. Like... This doesn't seem to do anything either. I'm kind of confused by some of these options. Does this like... So the different bone structure options don't associate with these. But these just don't seem to do facial aesthetic. Are these like... Is From Software having a laugh? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, something's changing. <laughs> um, reset. Where's? There's no reset to default button. Right. Oh man. Uh. uh nose to forehead ratio. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm gonna do something about the guy liner in a bit here. Once I get get that far. Jesus, there's too much. I... This is... Like, character customization... Connoisseurs are eating good right now, but that ain't me. I just... There's like... There's just so much to take in here. Those bridge height? Alright, Oh. God. Okay, what's in eyes? Alright, I'm not... I'm not doing all this. Hair? The hair is probably fine, actually. I picked uh, Seafarer because of the hairstyle mainly, and the blonde. Uh, actually, I don't know... I don't know if there's a... If they've got one that's a bit more receding, just for... Just if we're being honest with ourselves here. Doesn't seem like it. Luster, root darkness. Oh, well, I'm natural, baby, so let's turn that all the way down. <laughs> White hairs. Uh, I don't think I'm getting there yet. <laughs> Luster. Oh, my hair is kind of shiny, especially when I have used shampoo. <laughs> I don't know if it's like a, um, I don't know if it's like max luster or anything, but just just noticeable, yeah. Well, I am not that creative or original when it comes to making characters, <laughs> you see. So I tend to just make myself in these games. Uh, the hair color 
Hair color is fairly on point, actually. It's kind of a dirty blonde. I have, like... Like the... If I brush my hair a, dessert, a different way, it actually appears lighter. I don't know if I can demonstrate that here right now. Probably because I brushed my hair with a part for so many years and it got more sun exposure that way. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I'll just leave it like that. Um, and I think the style is fine too. Oh, get a load of this guy. Oh man, there's some good ones in here though. I could be a beetle. Um, but the one I started with is probably the most accurate. I mean, it's a low bar. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's fine. Eyebrows? Oh, I've got a big-time unibrow situation going on here. Um, and I mean, it's not too far off from the reality of the situation, but I do shave that, so we don't have to have it look like that in the game. Just this is fine. I'm not gonna... Color... Uh, yeah, match hair. Yeah, great. Sure. I think my brows are actually a little... Alright, hold on. Let me look at the hair color again. Uh... I, just, I wish I could go on... I wish I could go on this grid to the one that I'm already on and adjust from there. Oh, jeez. Where do I put myself here? Um... Oh, I'm not clicked into the game. Whatever, it's close enough. Actually, it looks more accurate on one monitor for me than it does on the other, so... But I'm looking at my base cam here and the and the in-game hair on the same monitor and it looks okay so let's go with that uh, facial hair equals no eyelashes three of them really dude? Uh, let's just go light on the eyelashes yeah whatever Right iris size and color. Clouding? Oh my god. Um. You can change the color of your sclera and shit? Pores. Maximum. No, yeah, that's pretty accurate. Skin luster. Dark circles, yeah, about 150 out of a possible 255. That seems about right. Yeah, sure. Okay, eyeliner. <laughs> eyeliner is set to maximum. We can probably turn that off. I might have to adjust the nose, actually. Because <laughs> I can't kid myself about this about this looking anything like me right now. <laughs> but like, I just can't be bothered to spend too much time on this to get it really accurate. Eye shadow. Cheek color. <laughs> um... Iris color. I can at least go like... Damn it, I can't look I can't look. <laughs> I can't see my own eyes in the camera. It's like maybe one of these at the bottom. <laughs> it's pretty subtle. Yeah, this one ought to do it. Cloudy. Oh weird. <laughs> that's, that's some like That condition has a name, I think. It's escaping me right now. Cosmetics? No. I mean, we could go with the bright purple lipstick. <laughs> no, that's fine. 
There's no reset to default button. <laughs> oh, it would be... Whatever, if it's turned all the way to zero, I'll just have... I'll have the bright purple lipstick, but turned all the way down to zero, so only I know about it. <laughs> tattoos. Base tattoos, dude, <laughs> really? I'm not sure what some of the stuff is supposed to be, really. Pretty tribal. Oh, you can have freckles and such. The single dot, actually. Let's see, can we move this? Color, tweak, position. Alright. <laughs> Let's go, okay. Can I add more of them after that? The most prominent one would have to be right at the hairline there. So if I can only have one, we should probably do that. Oh, is this as far? Okay, no, that's fine. Um, up and a little to the left. Sure. Uh, angle. Rotate. <laughs> Rotate the mole. <laughs> no, dude, we're not doing face tattoos. <laughs> not in real life, not even in a video game. is fine. Expansion. I'm gonna make it larger? Yeah. But could be a little smaller, actually. Um, the color is a little lighter. Like, barely visible. Yeah. Eye patch. Oh, a variety of different eye patches to choose from. I can be blindfolded. <laughs> So I guess you can only have the one mole, but um, that's fine. Uh, okay, let's look at the nose again, I guess. Where's nose? Base structure. Nose ridge. Uh... Ridge depth? Oh no. <laughs> Actually. That should, that should be like. No, okay, not all the way. All the way is, uh. <laughs> pretty out there. But it's pretty. It's fairly prominent. Like, maybe that one? Ridge length? I've got a pretty significant. We're, we're working with a pretty significant nose here. Uh, I need it more pointy, though. I can go up and down, I guess. It should be a little further up, actually. Tip height. Whatever. Protrusion. All these options, and I'm not- I'm gonna really be disappointed if I can't get the nose just right. Sure. Hmm. Nostrils. Wider. Not that wide. Hmm. There's no option for nose ridge width, strangely. Unless I'm missing something. How can they have all these...
No. <laughs> How strange. Because my... I mean, maybe it's just like the lighting. I feel like my nose is a little slimmer. <laughs> Alright. Uh... Actually, hmm. The some of the settings seem to like counteract each other. I can't like. I can't quite... Do we just go like max protrusion? <laughs> So strange. I can't seem to get the nose right. Yeah. I mean, I, at least I'm pretty sure. I haven't started playing it yet, but these games all have uh, helmets as one of the slots you can use for armor pieces. Huh. Alright, well... <laughs> I can't spend too much time on this. Uh, no hide helmet options. That is a shame, actually. Turning my fan on. I'm already working up a sweat just in the damn character creation menu. <laughs> uh. Now asking me if the PC port is good so far, and I have to tell him I'm still at character creation. Yeah, it's probably not going to come up again. And I'm gonna be- we're gonna be looking at my character from behind most of the time anyway, so... You know, it's whatever. That's probably fine. Body, I don't- I mean, I'm a little softer than this. I mean... Head size, chest size... Body hair, zero. Accurate. <laughs> I mean, the proportions can all stay the same. I'm not going to go that deep on it. Body hair color. Uh, musculature. Yeah, let's go standard. This is a bit much. I'm still not even quite this... lean, but uh, it'll do. Alright. Close enough. What was that in response to? I... Lucky about what? The fallen leaves. Tell Actually, I'll get rid of myself for this cutscene and then I'll figure out where to put my camera once we get into the UI and everything. The 
great Elden Ring was shattered. In our home. Oh, yeah, true that. <laughs> I'm like a once or twice a week face shaver as well, if you can believe that. Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Classic Dark Souls Mystic Babble in the intro. Soon. America's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Miyazaki definitely has some kind of fascination with, like, undeath. Or alone, chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion. A loathsome dung eater. Gross. <laughs> and Sir Gideon Othnir, the all-knowing. again bless a tarnished of no renown cross the fog to the lands between to stand before the Elden Ring And become the Elden Lord. Cool if I play the game now. <laughs> Such pros. Alright, let's get me back on there. This is probably an okay spot for the thingy, actually. Oh, the ring. It's a ge they give you a gesture right off the bat. I mean, you usually start with a handful of gestures, but they uh, emphasize this one for some reason. The ring. Uh, hello there. Okay, it looks like there's not going to be much over to the right in terms of the UI. So maybe I should put myself a little... Lo whoops. Uh... So I'm not in the way of stuff in the pause menu. Maybe that works. We'll we'll try that for now. Actually, maybe just the very top right would be best. But I'll um, all that's up there is like the autosave indicator. I got a compass. Yeah, hang on. 
Well, now that's now also in the way of... I don't know. We'll adjust it as we go along. With the equipment menu, you can equip armaments, arrows, bolts, armor, talismans, and items. Oh, Dave, what uh, starting gift did you take, by the way? Because I took the... Um... I took the flask upgrade. I can't remember what it's called now. You can equip up to three armaments to your... Yeah, okay. Ammunition. Armor. And a talisman. No talismans. Ten quick items lost. That's nice. We got crafting in this game. Can I, um, help? Wait, what was that second one? Menu explanation. So, FP, so that's going to be my mana, essentially, and focus. Bigger is HP, stamina. Okay, strength and dex. Acquired to perform glintstone sorceries. Required. Uh, arcane. Oh yeah, item discovery. Holy defense, vitality, and certain sorceries and incantation. Strange. At a glance, it's weird that you have, like, mind, intelligence, and arcane as three different stats. You would... It's, it's, you would think they would all be pretty similar. It's not uh, immediately clear what each one is and how they're different. Oh, multiplayer-specific items. Group passwords. Okay. Uh Oh, this is the map now. Or the menu button or where the gesture button used to be. This game has a map now. <laughs> Open world. Check your current position, surrounding area, place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore. It's good. Select any site of grace that you've discovered and travel there instantaneously. However, there are some dungeons and other areas where this cannot be done. Okay, so I guess you just use gestures by going into this menu now. There's actually a bunch of... Uh, test. Warm welcome. Is this the new Praise the Sun for this game? <laughs> well, he keeps that position for a while. I guess it just stays until you stop doing it. Alright, let's start actually uh, running, walking around and such. First off, good luck. Okay, that's jumping. There we go. Wasn't wanting to do it for a second. Hmm. Though the path be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. Tarnished wizened finger. Okay. Victory ahead. Oh, used to write messages to other worlds. Nice. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to be struggling a little bit with where to put my face cam for this one. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Oh yeah, we got Sekiro sneaking now, baby. In our Souls game. Oh, hello. Chapel of Antissa.
Patient. Well, I guess we just jump off then. Oh, there's... Never mind. There's stairs. <laughs> there, this messages are definitely trying to egg me into jump, jumping off, and I was about to do it. I don't know. I don't think that's a good idea. I'm starting to get those mild frame rate stutters a little bit. Actually, let me... Maybe keep tabs on my CPU usage. So far, so good. Oh, this should be streaming in 720 instead of 1080p now. Can you guys check if that's the quality setting uh, that it's at when you go into to the options there? Because since I'm not affiliate, uh, it doesn't automatically encode the lower resolution settings for the stream, and I doubt everyone wants to watch this wants to watch a stream at 1080p all the time. So this seems like a good enough compromise. But then I'm also recording a, lo a local video file of the 1080p footage just to upload elsewhere after this. So, all right, cool. I wasn't sure if uh, recording and streaming at the same time would add too much strain on my resource resource usage usage resource usage, but uh, it seems okay so far. This is with the graphics settings at high too. I was worried I would have trouble with this after all the problems I had streaming Sekiro starting off. Be wary of done. I think I was supposed to read those the other way around. <laughs> Man, come on. Try gesturing. Uh, I guess. Just position the camera directly up my own ass. Uh... Alright. <laughs> for fingers. Come on, guys. How about a little professionalism here, huh? There's kind of a surprising... There's kind of a surprising delay between holding the that dodge button and the sprint starting. Maybe I'm more used to Sekiro's general, like, f flow of that game. And I just forgot how long it normally took, but it feels longer in this game. Time for Elden Ring, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah man, it just feels good to be able to take my time with this one after what a mad dash Sekiro was. Trying to finish that by uh, the end of last night. So, I'm probably going to be milking this game on the stream for a while now. Are you ready? Good luck! Oh, come on. Oh, I'm fog walls. Something's happening. Grafted Scion. Oh, what is this guy right off the bat? Oh, hold on. I better two-hand this. How do I two-hand? Shit. <laughs> I can't pause. I probably don't need it right now. Ow. I don't even have my flask yet. Well, <laughs> looks like that's exactly what was supposed to happen. Is the screen supposed to be black during this? 
Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it was a required beef, though. Right, I'm just I'm just really paranoid about the game crashing at any given time. <laughs> Horsey. No, I don't think I'm going to do a death counter for this game. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Might as well be me. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Look at me just Yamcha on the floor here. There we go. I wonder how long it was out for. Flask of Crimson Tears. Okay, I just wake up with my healing item and Cerulean Tears, which I imagine is my... Uh, FP restoration. Okay, so why it just brings up the HUD? Oh man, it's dark in here. <laughs> uh... So yeah, so why brings up the HUD and interacts in this game? Attack, strong attack, skill, guard. Right hand and two handed armament. Oh, is that how it works in this game? Wait. Oh, what does that do? Interesting. Okay, so you don't just two hand normal weapons, there are specific two handed weapons now. Am I understanding that right? Cave of Knowledge lies below. Like, down here? Oh. Oh. Okay, there it goes. That was weird. Alright, a door I can actually open. Okay, do you mean nope as in no, you don't just two-hand weapons, or nope as in no, I, I'm not understanding that right? Oh, okay. That's a little weird. It's not, yeah, it's not clear what this does when you uh, just hold Y at first. Lose all? Oh, that's the dark side. I guess it's a uh, secondary... Quick menu. Huh. Alright, I might as well keep this two-handed for now, because I'm not going to be very, getting very much use out of just swanging with my left hand. I doubt it's very good at blocking either, though. I mean, we can check. Physical guard, 41%. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh... 
Oh. Hello. Take the plunge. <laughs> hmm. So, but what was in this building then? Just something about these stairs. When I walk up these stairs, the game lags. So is that the same? Is that the same uh, frame? Drops that everyone's having on PC right now, or should I actually try adjusting my settings for that? Touch Grace. Why don't you go outside and touch Grace? Okay. None. Okay. Um, that's one of the starting gifts, I'm pretty sure. It's just weird that it gives you the option if you don't even have it. Cooperative multiplayer. Okay. So there are various fingers I use to... use different multiplayer functions. Cooperative multiplayer will begin once you've been summoned by a player from another world. You will take the role of an ally, a furled finger, and your objective is to defeat the area boss. The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the summoner. Host of fingers. Uh, all this finger stuff is weirding me out. Finger severer. And the furled finger. And then the wizened finger is the one that writes messages. I've almost got a whole hand of fingers here. Okay, so I can I can go here, but they wanted me to jump down into that pit back there too, so I guess I'll do that first. Once again I struggle with branching paths. Using items. Okay. Okay, no fall damage from that. Well done, skeleton. Seek hole and then offer seat. God. <laughs> Wait, this one has a gesture associated with it too. Is this the hole? <laughs> uh, I'll disparage this message. <laughs> if. <laughs> Well, the things people find ways to do with the messaging system in these games, I tell you, Never gets old. Resting at a site of grace will restore your HP, FP, and cleanse any status ailments. It will also refill your sacred flask. However, most of the enemies you defeated will be revived. You can find sites of grace by going where light converges. These explanations are acquired in the form of info items and can be accessed from the inventory at any time. Wait, really? Accessed. Info. Sites of Grace and Cooperative Multiplayer. That's interesting. The tutorial bits that you can go back and read are just in your inventory. Oh, what? This guy? He's just standing here. Oh, Barbaric Roar. Is that the skill I have on the club? I should probably know what that does. Um... I see. A thick, solid lump of wood. Wielding the striking weapon requires no skill. Elden Ring Scrub Quotes? A simple primitive weapon that requires only brute strength and persistence to hammer your foe into the ground. Barbaric Roar, let loose a bestial roar to rally the spirit and increase attack power. 
while active, strong attacks change to savage combo attacks. Uh, so that probably consumes FP. I should test that out here. I mean, I'm probably not against this guy. Poor sap. Strong attack. Yeah, so you can charge it up. The zombies have slightly more human voices in this game than they normally do in Dark Souls. Guarding is especially effective when done with a shield. Thanks. Stamina runs out and your stance will be broken. Well, I don't really want to practice guarding with this thing, <laughs> so... Dodging. I wonder how good backstep is in this game. It usually has less... It usually has a shorter invulnerability window than actually rolling. If any at all. Jump! Oh yeah, you can jump now. Oh no. The shots are coming. Where the hell's the shooter? Oh, I ran. That's right. Oh man, that's gonna take some getting used to after playing Sekiro with its infinite stamina. I, ha I have a stamina bar again. Oh, what? Where is it? Oh, you dick. I wondered why there was a dead zone where he wasn't able to hit me. Each hand can be a. Okay, so it tells you about that here. Wield with two hands. Making attacks more difficult to repel with shields and boosting an effective strength by 50%. Yeah, so that works the same. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, so I wonder if that means it just does more stamina damage when you, uh... When someone blocks a two-handed attack. I did. <laughs> Well, I really want to have a look at the messaging... At the, at the message builder now. Yep. Ah, gotcha. Raise the rushing in. Oh, there he is. Walking away from the messages. I have to wonder why pickle is one of the words you can pick when making messages in this game. Because someone definitely had a message that was like, I wish I had a giant, and then some punctuation, and then pickle. Why is one of them Pickle? I hope I get to find out. I'm sure I will. Oh, we're gonna be playing this game for a while. Uh, skills. Skills are highly varied and range from powerful attacks to temporary effects. They use FP. I guess I'll set it on this guy since it's prompting me to. Oh yeah, so that changes the strong attack to be these combos. I think one of the uh, clubs had a similar ability in Dark Souls 3. Crouch makes crouch to make it harder for enemies to discover you, especially effective in tall grass. So sneaking is back from Sekiro as well as jumping. So it's really the quintessential from Slop game. Attacking an enemy that hasn't noticed you will cause more damage than usual. Well, like, great. Now I'm glowing red while I'm trying to sneak up on this guy. So do I just go for a backstab here? Yeah. Nope, he's dead. Hmm. 
Stance breaking. Oh, yeah. Charge attacks and jump attacks make it particularly easy to break an enemy stance. That's right. Just keep the party going here. Whoa! Nice hitbox pour in there. Didn't expect jump attack. Praise the jump attack. <laughs> Stakes of Marika. Upon dying, you will be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. However, if there's a stake of Marika near where you died, you can choose to be revived there instead. Yeah, I think they put these outside of the boss room so you can resurrect at them and just try the boss again. And not necessarily have to run all the way back from the, uh... Reverse the Mist, from the last checkpoint. Okay, Soldier of Godric. Now the real fight begins. Guard counters. You can per oh yeah, that's new to this game. You can perform a counter attack immediately after blocking. Guard counters make it easy to break an enemy's stance. I don't know if I want to do that with this build right now though. Oh shit. Uh, it really buffered in that that dodge input for a long time. Uh, there. Damn it. I'm not getting my dodges right now. Damn it. <laughs> I already died. Well, maybe now it'll explain to us what happens when we die. Uh, yeah. Because I actually don't know how it works in this game. What with you... Like, what, what you lose on death and how you get it back, if at all. Because it works differently in, Se in Sekiro than it does in the Souls games. Oh, the loading indicator there seems stuck. How long do we wait? What is this now? Untrusted system file. What? Easy anti cheat crashed my game because of a program I have running in the background called Sizer. Uh. The fuck? Okay, I guess I'll just disable that before I restart the game. Start up. Let's disable. All it does is, uh,. I mean, I don't use it much now, but all it does is show the exact size and pixels of a window while I'm resizing it, and also, like, lets me automatically resize stuff to certain sizes, but I'll just get rid of that. Uh, well, while I'm having to relaunch the game anyway, I think I'm going to go fix a, fix a drink real quick and come right back. So, BRB.
Uh, game catch? There we go. Yeah, there's co-op and there's PvP in this game. I imagine it works uh, like the Dark Souls games, where you just summon people into your world, or per perhaps you can also get invaded by people wanting to fight. Uh, darn it. <laughs> well, okay, at least we get this. Upon dying, you will be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. You will drop any ruins in your possession at the site of your death. If you die again before reclaiming those ruins, they will be lost forever. So it's Dark Souls rules again. Compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the lost ruins. Well. I picked revive at the, uh, at the stake, but it didn't do it. <laughs> because I crashed, I guess. So let's just run right along to where I left off here. All I have to spend my FP on is my Barbaric War, so I might as well use it. I don't care about you. Oh, I ran out of stamina, that's right. That's a thing now. It's, it does take a while to run out of stamina just by running, though. Okay, here we are. Uh... Okay, there it is. That's what that's what that's what this would be. Okay, this guy's not so tough. Got it. Enemy felled. So I also get super armor while I'm doing my this. So that's neat. I mean, I don't have much. I can't tank much damage right now, but it's good to know. So lonely. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, they actually did that in this game. You don't actually... You don't drain stamina while you're not in combat and just running around. That's really nice. And then when the U when the UI is hidden, it just shows your health if you're missing health. And I imagine if you, if you are consuming stamina, it will show that. Oh, choppy. Strength. Okay. Is there another side of grace nearby? <laughs> Oh, this loops back around to here. Okay, so then, then the answer is yes, there is. Alright, cool. What's up with this? This s spectral tree. Yeah, I love a good quality of life change, dude. Something about these stairs, man. The stairs are laggy as hell. Oh? Oh. I hadn't actually tried resting it. it. For some reason, it fades into a menu. There are times of day in this game. Past time. Huh. Interesting. That's new. I wonder... Erdtree Sprout. The stair. What is it about stairs? <laughs> Why are stairs the frame killers? Blasts. Add charge to flasks. Use golden seed to increase your number of flasks. Let's. Let's. Use sacred tear. I don't think I have any of those. No. Allocate... Oh, that's right. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be using much of the blue flask right now, though. In fact, I guess I'll keep one. 
Since I yeah, since I started out with Golden Sea, I'll keep one as a uh, as an FP flask. That's fine. Memorize spell. You must have a staff to cast sorceries or a sacred seal to cast incantations, which I guess are like miracles for this game. Memory slots determine the number of sorceries and incantation you can memorize. It's in interesting that they flavor it as just memorizing them in this game. And I think that's what, uh, what the mind stat does. Sorts chest. Nothing in there right now, I imagine. Yeah. Okay. Just that's it. <laughs> That set of stairs in particular, that's so strange. Oh, that's FP. Item discovery. FP and focus. Is there one in particular that does, uh, that does memory slots? It, would it just be intelligence? It's probably not going to come up for me for a while. Oh, because it's his own change. That makes sense, I guess. Improves magic resistance, boosts power of sorceries. Blinza, yeah. FP and focus. What's focus, though? It's one of my resistances. Yeah, it doesn't. None of the stats say whether they uh, give you more memory slots when you upgrade them. Didn't expect hidden path. Well, This game has illusory walls, I'm pretty sure, but I, in, in different Souls games, the uh, conditions for opening them have been different. Sometimes you just attack them, but sometimes you have to interact with them. I don't know which one it is in this game. Try a lever. I, I'd like to, but... <laughs> I think that I think the message are having I think the messages are having a bit of a laugh right now. They usually are. Still no hidden path. <laughs> yeah. Everyone who came through here had the same idea I did. I'm still just considering where to put the face cam for this game. Maybe it would be better served... I, f I remember it being in the way of something where it is right now, but I don't remember what. It's probably just... I mean, no matter where I put it, it's going to be in the way of something in the menus. Actually, what about... Eh. I don't know. I'll just have to... Limgrave. I'll just have to consign myself to the fact that it's going to be in the way of something, no matter where I put it. Boy, this opens up a lot <laughs> as soon as you get out of that structure. It's like, oh man, there's so many different... I, I, could, I could just go anywhere. 
I can just run off in any direction. Oh, man. I'm not ready for this. I don't play a lot of open world games, dude. I can't deal with having this many options. Okay, maybe it's not as open just yet as I thought, but birds. Bye. What are these? They look like giant squirrels. Just local fauna. Hmm. I might want to put a an FPS counter on this, because I don't know if I'm quite hitting 60. Even when I'm not getting the weird frame drops for the, from the PC port. What the heck? It was like giant bats? Didn't expect bird. Yeah, I think I would have to relaunch the game to add an FPS counter. Actually... A GeForce experience should be able to do it. Hang on. HUD... Uh... Performance? No, I don't need all that. Oh yeah, FPS. Oh yeah, it's a little low right now. It's in the 30s and 40s. Uh, I can probably lower the graphics settings then. Well, that didn't do anything. <laughs> the heck? It feels like the game is even running slower while the frame while the frame rate is lower. I can't get the FPS to go up any by adjusting the graphic settings. Uh, it's already at low now. Medium is the lowest option for grass quality. I guess that's probably what I have to do to get it to stick. Let me just take a second here. I left the pause menu, and it didn't give me that warning, initially, but let me just, let me just take this a little bit of time here. Title screen music is kind of sick, actually. Hmm. Now I'm right about 30 frames per second. 44. Okay. No, but I don't have to lower the resolution or something. Wow, it doesn't improve when I lower the graphics settings. It's so bizarre. I guess I'll just keep it at low to just play it safe.
Oh, is that what it's gonna look like on the stream? Oh, jeez. That's not ideal. And it still didn't improve the frame rate very much. That's really weird. Hmm. Oh well. Let me look at my, like... See, in Task Manager, I'm not even maxing out GPU usage. But I'm also not hitting 60 FPS. It's really strange. I'm sure I'll get over it. Uh-oh. <laughs> already? Is it already that time? Do I have to do this right now? Oh, jeez. Giant bats. No, they want me. Oh, jeez. The giant bats are hostile. Oh, they got a sonic scream. Jeez. Okay. Oh. I wonder... Oh god, look at the frame rate drop. Okay, so you do have a, a light attack and a strong attack from a jump. Ow! Damn it! <laughs> Get down here. Oh, it's dead. Why did that kill it in one hit? Oh, come on, not again. Huh? Come on, dude, you can fly. Why don't you come to me? Well, I'm not going down there. And who's messaging me right now? Shit, the bat's coming. <laughs> Let me get rid of this bat. Vanquishing enemy groups? Okay. Vanquishing an enemy group will replenish your flasks. The number and type of flasks to be replenished varies depending on the enemy group. You cannot replenish more flasks than your maximum. That's interesting, because, I, yeah, I guess in an open-world setting, you're going to need more ways to restock your inventory of supplies. I can't wait to find out all the ways that this is different from Souls games, and the ways they've updated the formula for the open-world environment.
Man, they just... They just dump you into this open space with no direction, really. Huh. That's a skull. <laughs> I'm like, what is this, a little rock or something? Why is there a glowing skull with fiery eyes just sitting on the ground like that? Oh, I cracked it open, and there's an item inside. Golden rune. Uh, wait, hold on. Can't pause the game anymore, so... Golden rune. Used to gain a small number of runes, okay. Ow! Pigs! Ow, oh, stop! Oh my god. It's not doing much damage, but <laughs> it just keeps bumping into me. Dick. What is this guy's deal? What does he want? Um, I cracked up on another skull over here, but I guess there was nothing inside at that time. Oh, materials. In every corner of the lens between you will find fruits and flowers, mushrooms and butterflies, and various other useful materials. These materials can be used for item crafting. Also new to this game. Row of fruit. Uh, I wonder if it says what that does exactly. Crafting materials. It just says material used for crafting items, easily found in the in the lens between. Great. Arid leaf flower. Okay. Okay, bye. Oh, I'm all covered in blood. Oh, jeez. The fact that I'm, like, naked and covered in blood feels somehow worse than if I had... if I were wearing clothes that were covered in blood. Oh, what are you? What the heck? I didn't expect that to be alive. It's like a dung beetle, kind of. And it's gone now. It just disappeared into the tall grass. Mushroom. Ruined fragment, huh. What a strange thing to be an upgrade material. Listen carefully, it says. R1 spam, baby. I could have sworn it said they started me out with a torch or something. Oh, no, it was this. Memory of Grace, the dark sign. Look.
Ow. Not having Mika counter sucks right now. Damn it. Eight front ruins. Ah, the gate. Oh, it's like gate front. There must be a gate nearby. There must be something. Sorry? No more wall jumps. No more ninja shit. <laughs> uh. How is it that I'm finally playing Elden Ring and I'm starting to miss playing Sekiro? <laughs> Damn it! He surprised me with the with the torch attack of all things. You died. I'll get used to that. Oh. Where was this? Okay, cool. I didn't even spot that on my way in, but it spotted me, I guess. Offer pickle. Why is pickle? What's the deal with pickle? Oh yeah, stealth is an option in this game. Oh, come on. Okay, so I should probably try using stealth to uh, make my way through this little camp here at the ruins. You know, I was just complaining about going from Sekiro to this game. You'd think I would be trying to use stealth as a default. If that were the case. all this then. This guy looks a little bit more equipped than his uh, brothers in arms here. Shit. I'm trying too hard to get a jumping attack to break his guard. Come on. Oh wait, that's right. I actually... That's another thing coming from Sekiro, is that I... I don't have a uh, regaining my blood stain in my muscle memory anymore. <laughs> I gotta find this. Uh, here it is. I should find something to spend those runes on. I'm not, not even sure what you do with those yet. Like, haven't encountered any NPCs really. That skull was crawling around. Am I crazy? I could have sworn... It just has an item in it. Golden rune. Maybe it was just sliding down the hill? I don't know. Something must have moved it. 
Oh, is this a Grace? Okay, good. Okay, Grace exi exists to guide the tarnished and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of Grace retain that power. Their golden rays will guide you along your way. That's what I need right now, I think. And I will take the rest. Okay, I actually like the fact that um, resting at a, at a site of grace puts you into this, like, quasi-cutscene. Wait, maybe this one is actually a cutscene. Hold on a second. <laughs> the Grace Keeper is here. Let's just call her Grace. <laughs> Why not? I'm sure she has a name, but... Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. Melina. By the looks of her, she hasn't got a lot of melanin. I offer you an accord. Hmm. Make contract? Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. Don't remind me. I can play the role of Maiden, turning runes into strength. Okay, that answers my question from earlier. In your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you. To the foot of the Erd Tree. As much as I'd like to know what happens if you pick Refuse... Then it's settled. Summon me... I feel like I could use your help right now. ...to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. The Elden Ring? Oh. Spectral Steed Whistle. Use it Epona's song. to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Listen, I hope the fact that I'm basically naked here isn't Torrent making you uncomfortable. You. Treat him with respect. Oh, I can level up now. I should spend my souls, uh, ruins, uh, so I don't risk losing them, but I don't really know what to spend them on yet. She's still talking. Okay. Standard fare. Uh, I think I'll come back to this, though. I only have enough for one level right now, anyway. Okay, well, yeah, in, in this state it puts you in while you're at a side of grace. I think you're safe from any wandering or patrolling enemies, so I think I'm gonna leave it here for a minute and BRB again real quick.
All right. So, yeah, probably not going to spend anything yet, but I will want to use this to see where I should, generally where I should go next. Horseback riding. Sweet. Interesting. Wait, Crimson Tears is the health flask, right? Or is that is that a different one? Oh, pouches. From pouch in the main menu, you can equip six items to your pouches. Interesting. Okay, so that's what that is. That's fun. Not much I can put in there yet, though. It's actually... Oh, yeah, let's actually put that in the top position. In the top... No, in the top is God damn it. <laughs> this, and then... I can just remove that for now. I don't think I'm going to use that. Sweet. I'm naked on a horse. And I have double jump as the horse. Okay, so it's telling me to just go into the in through this gate right now. Okay, so crouching dismisses the horse. Crimson tear. Okay, so it cost me an Estus flask to revive my horse if it dies. That's that makes sense, I guess. Uh. Storm gate. Who goes there? Oh no, what is this now? Oh, it has multiple lock-on points. <laughs> That's never a good sign. Alright, let's get some mounted combat. Jeez. Okay, I guess I can rely on that guy to kill the other smaller guys around here. The mounted heavy attack takes a while to come out. Ow. Ow, shit. Just smacking people with a wooden club from horseback feels really silly. Okay, so the, the horse does have the dash. Because I, I started with Wretch. <laughs> it, it, and it doesn't give you any armor. Oh, he uses a big chunk of stamina, though. Okay, so just pressing the dodge button is the horse. So there's no sprint as, as the horse, but you do have a like a, do like a dodge dash. Ow, damn it. I guess it's not necessarily a horse, it's a spectral steed. So it's probably... I haven't really taken a good look at it yet. Yeah, it's, a, it's probably a combination of things. Okay, I think everything else is dead. Maybe I can try fighting this big thing now. Missed. I don't know, this big monster just dropped out of the sky when I entered this area. It's got a lot of health, damn. Do I even want to bother with this right now? I don't have any magic yet, I just started the game. <laughs> and they definitely don't ow, start you with any magic as the rest class. Alright, I'm getting out of here. Let's go find something else to do. That's not fighting this giant guy.
Miss. What are you doing with the bugle? Oh boy. Okay, I should probably keep moving. Yeah. Oh, wait, materials. Golden seed. No, oh, he's still coming. Damn it, I don't have my soundboard open. Did he? Oh, he backed off. Okay. Hold on one second. Oh, darn it. Alright, hold on. Alright. Sorry about that. Alright, um... Well... I guess I have to find another site of grace to... get my next general direction. Oh, he's just wandering around over there now. Go back for the materials. Uh-oh. Oh, what is this? Many dogs. I'm lucky my damn club can even reach them down there. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really clear on what, where they came from exactly. Bad dogs. There's not even like an upswing. <laughs> you just slam it down and then do it again. Oh wait, items. I can probably stop running. Thin beast bones. I guess that's a crafting material. Elden Ring, in a nutshell. Required, damn it. Okay, good. So... The skulls that you can just find in the world and that have items in them for some reason can be broken just by stepping on them with your horse so you can pick up the item. Jeez. Oh, uh, touch grace. Pardon my crunching. A little noise filter might be getting that. Uh, do I want to level up yet? I have two points worth, but I don't know what to spend anything. I haven't been picking up any equipment yet. I don't know what to spend any of my levels on yet. Just health, I guess. Actually, yeah, I could use more health. Hold on, let's do that. A bigger? Yeah. Uh, what was I trying to figure out earlier? Oh, memory slots isn't even one of the things. Okay, so you don't get more memory slots by upgrading your stats, I guess. I wonder how you do that, then. I definitely should find a weapon. <laughs> I'm, uh... Working on that as we speak. Item discovery. So Vigor is HP? Yeah. HP, FP. Huh. Stamina. More stamina would be nice, too. But I should probably go with health for now. Yeah, well, I also have, uh, shoot, Melina, <laughs> who appears when I rest as a site of, wait a minute, 
She's not here now. How do I summon Melina? I know she's the one who's responsible for leveling me up when I spend runes to level up, but she ha she isn't actually appearing now. I, I, I promise she exists. She's not just a figment of my imagination. Oh, talk to Melina. There she is. I told you. This tiny golden aura is the grace of the earth tree. I got me a maiden. Once shone in the eyes of your tarnished brethren. But now, it is all that guides you. Or so I hear. You can see them, can't you? The rays of grace that guide you through your burden. It's pretty much what you'd expect. I'm oh, sorry to hear that, Dave. So I'm gonna be... So I'm gonna be picking talk to... Not talk over her, but I'm gonna be picking talk to Melina before I level up every time, just so I get to hold her hand. Well, I'm not eating the mushrooms. Jolt, I'm taking them as crafting materials, and then, I'm not, and then I don't know what I'm doing with them just yet. Uh, yeah, let's upgrade our health, I think. Stamina isn't actually too much of a factor just yet. Item discover, yeah, that's fine. Okay, bye bye. Attributes scaling, attributes require. Okay, ten deck, ten strength exactly, and no decks. And it only has C grade stra uh, strength scaling. The club does. It's kind of weird. I guess the bigger clubs probably scale better with strength. I'm assuming there are, like, great clubs and stuff. Like, large club and great club in this game. There better be. Stone sword key. Stone, stone, sto stone sword key. Not an actual sword, unfortunately. This shack... This shack has its own... Region name? Stormhill Shack. This must be a pretty important shack. I mean, there's an NPC in here. So that's something. Everyone's... Been grafted? Everyone who came with me. They crossed the sea for me. They fought for me. <laughs> Only to have their arms taken. Their legs taken. Even their heads taken. Taken and stuck to the spider. Lady, you're weirding me out a little bit. If you're grafted by the spider, you become a chrysalid. A lock when you think about it. I don't think so. I think it kind of gives me the creeps. Sitting. So oh, you get her p little pose there as a gesture. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's been we've addressed it. <laughs> just uh, just don't worry about it, okay? I woke up like this. I haven't found any clothes yet. It's a work in progress. <laughs> I wonder if she has any more dialogue. I got Melina. Got my horse, goat. Oh, you've come to be one with the spider. Well, that makes us two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off. All right, Zach. Appreciate it. Or your head. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. God, what is she talking about? I just realized that if if Zach can't view the stream, he didn't hear what I just said. So I'm just gonna. Type in the chat. Let's move that over there. Uh, well, anything else? Spirit, jellyfish, ashes. Okay. Everything deserves someone braver than myself. And the spirits look rather fondly upon you. It will be glad of your company, I think. Nice. Summoning spirits. 
Oh yeah, with a spirit calling bell you can use ashes to summon various spirits. Typically consumes FP. You can only summon one type of spirit at a time and cannot summon spirits during multiplayer. Might as well try it out. I don't have much to spend my FP on right now except for chatting. <sighs> yeah, I wonder if there are any stats that improve summoning abilities. Actually, where do you even go to... Ashes. Uh, do I... Equipment? Okay, you use that just... It's an item. You use it as an item. FP costs 31. I mean, we, we haven't seen the jellyfish in action yet. We, we can give it a chance. Let's, uh, let's put it on there. 31 out of a possible 68. So I can use it twice out of a full FP bar. It was a pleasure to see you. Oh, can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormvale Castle, tell them I love them. And that, despite my craven heart, I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough. I'm finally getting the hang of this whole pain thing, you know? Wow, this is also esoteric. <laughs> it was a pleasure to oh, Okay, I've, I've successfully exhausted her dialogue, so... She must die. No, I'm kidding. Excuse me? Oh, hold on. Bullying? It, it held a message for reason bullying because of the word pervert. I'm just gonna allow that. <laughs> Sorry about that. The, uh... Automod is awfully sensitive sometimes. I'm trying to remember what someone said on last night's stream that triggered it. Uh, and I, it's escaping me right now. Teabag! Did you watch the VOD? I guess I did send you the link to the VOD. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you, I'm glad you uh, got as far as the teabag part then. Yeah, it was teabag. Yeah. Man, I hope I don't have to upgrade my GPU to stream this game more smoothly, because that's not really an option right now. Not in this economy. Alright, let's get back on our horse then. Uh, this. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty kicked up in this game. It's no big deal. I think it's just enough, frankly. Trust me, as soon as I find any sort of armor pieces that I can equip, I will be sure to equip them for you. And for my own sake, for that matter. For now, you can just watch me bounce naked on this horse. Uh, what do we say? Goat thing. And collect mushrooms. Oh, it's a bit blustery out here today, isn't it? Yeah. Actually, I mean, it's pretty. There's a, there's a pretty distinct. Oh, it's this guy again. What are these? Is that a sheep? Bah. Oh, look at him roll away! <laughs> uh, it's it's a good game. It's a good video game. 
And these guys, I haven't really figured out what these things are exactly. It's hard to get a good look at them. No, there they go. They're like jackalopes or something. Uh, I think there's a real life animal that corresponds to whatever those things are, but it, I can't figure it. I can't remember what it is. Man. Uh, anyway, yeah, the uh, the sights of grace, the equivalent of bonfires in this game, generally guide you in the direction you're supposed to go next. Oh, that's actually pointing off that way, I guess. But there's a path here. I guess if I follow this path, maybe it'll go around that way. Well, no harm in just doing some exploring. Or is there? <laughs> or is there possibly harm in doing some exploring? <laughs> Fuck, dude. By the way, we have double jumps with the steed. No big deal. Alright, this guy's shooting shit at me. I'm gonna get rid of him. Ow! Dick! Stop! <laughs> Any of them drop anything? Oh, blood stain. Okay, what, what, let's deal with these things. They move surprisingly fast, actually. I can't... Shit. I can't reach them from horseback. I wonder if those are like crystal lizards. They give you nice uh, upgrade materials if you manage to track them down and kill... And, well, yeah, kill them. Ow. Okay, that all did much more damage than I expected. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, why are there so many of them? What is this? I guess Last Side of Grace is fine. I don't know where the where the state of Marika is going to be. Stake, stake of Marika. Maybe I can just go around these guys. Okay, so where did I die here exactly? Oh, hold on. Come on, get back here. Oh, god damn it. Hit it. Okay, something happened. Oh, I got an Ash of War from it. With a whetstone knife, you can use Ash of War to grant your armaments new skills at Sites of Grace. An armament can only have one skill. Any skill it previously had will be removed. An armament's type determines what skills it can have. Some special armaments have unique skills and cannot be granted new ones. Adding Affinities. With a whetstone knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant affinities to your armaments at Sites of Grace. 
This way you can ar alter an armament's attack affinity, boost attribute scaling, and more. An armament's type determines what affinities you can have. Some special armaments, armaments like those with unique skills cannot be granted new affinities. Okay. They can be out of here. God, stop! <laughs> what is that? What the hell is that? Oh, man. I guess that's how I know I'm getting to where I need to be. Man. What's with these guys? Oh my god, what? Why are there so many of them? Alright, I mean, I guess I just start swagging. Shit! Wow, that's... What am I missing here? Well, in the Souls games, the only real penalty for dying, as long as you could get your... Well, besides time. The only real penalty for dying, besides having to get your bloodstain back, was uh, losing humanity. So, I wonder if there's an equivalent to that in this game. Alright, let's grab this. That place I was at was just just now was kind of scary, so I think we're gonna do some more looking around. The uh, side of the race was actually pointing me over that way. I don't know if I can actually go directly that way or if it's pointing me to something that I have to go around to. But I'm just gonna have a look. Thanks, Dave. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Gold tinged and excrement. Material used for crafting items hidden in woods and thickets. What could this possibly? Gold tinged ex excrement. But gold tinge, though? <laughs> What's the point of that? Root resin. Oh, jellyfish! Huh. Are they hostile? No, I guess not. Weird. They just kind of float around. I don't really want to attack one and find out what it does. I'm curious, but not that curious. What's that, an owl? Didn't expect friend, but praise the bird. Well, this owl just does not care. Friendship, oh friendship. Okay. <laughs>
Oh, now what? Zombies? Ghouls? Oh, Jesus. Freaking... Oh, they get back up. Alright, goodbye. Smithing stone. You can completely change your direction with the horse's double jump. That's kind of cool. Uh, it seems to dead end here. There's another one of these guys. Oh, wait. Jerboa? The word Jerboa just popped into my head. Is that what those things are? I'm not even sure if that's the right name. Okay, the pig runs away from me now that I'm on horseback. <laughs> Dick. It keeps looking like it's about to run off the cliff, but I don't think it will. Owls. No, eagles. Sorry. <laughs> what is this, then? Starlight charts. But what is it? <laughs> Magic ahead. Oh. Could this be a stone astrolabe? But why is it always tarnished? I guess that's a spell? I don't have a staff to cast spells with yet, though. Bolstering materials. Oh, I should spend that. I didn't realize I had gotten another one. Wait, source trees and enchanted. These are both empty. So, what the hell did I just pick up? Oh, yeah, I used to gradually recover FP. The message just lied. Materials. Just run around and spam Y. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's a bat. Oh, they're hanging there. Still alive, huh? Yeah, there's a bunch of them. I don't feel like killing them all. Hmm. 
Alright, so I guess I meant to go up this path and... Try to break into this fortress or whatever. What? Is that a freaking... Pokey from Super Mario? What is this? Bro? What on... Do I want to know what happens if it sees me? Not much. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it alone. I don't trust like that. What is all this then? Stormhill Everjail. Uh, sure? Be wary of boss. Okay, great. Try calmness or suffering? Praise the peering. Well, I don't think I... Shit. Uh, right, okay. Nope, it's still the- <laughs> okay. Uh, Crucible Knight, uh! Uh, frickin- okay, yeah, that's gonna take some getting used to. Dead. <laughs> Damn it! I don't know if I should be fighting this just yet. Um, okay. It put me in the same general area. Well, I gotta go back for my blood stain, Or whatever it's called in this game. I guess I gotta go in there. Can I go back out once I've gone in there? Oh boy. No. <laughs> I think once I've died here, I'm stuck until until I either give up on my stuff that I dropped, or beat the boss. Is there really no way to leave? <laughs> Three. I'm at a uh, pretty noticeable disadvantage here. Shit. I pressed dodge, I swear I did. Man. This is kind of a bummer, is there no way to just get my stuff and leave? <laughs> I'm locked in now that I've tried dared to step to this boss? Oh, now they're crawling around like centipedes. Okay, you do that. I might like. Okay, yeah, where is it now? Yeah, pretty much once I step out of the circle, the fight begins. 
I don't know, is there like... No, it's just an enclosed arena. Oh jeez. Panic roll. Damn it! <laughs> Come on! I'm really not supposed to be fighting this guy yet, but I'm like... I don't want to just give up on the... It's not like... It's not very much stuff that I lost, but... I'm just not ready to, to give up on it altogether. I mean, I can... Don't finish that sentence. Where's the frickin'... Actually, that's not a bad idea. I haven't. I indeed haven't tried that yet. Memory of Grace. Lose all runes. Return. To so that's that's not any better. Yeah, let me try pulling the jellyfish out on him. Whatever good that's gonna do. Kind of forgot about the jellyfish summon. To be honest with you. Okay, I have them, but I still can't leave. I can't summon my horse in here. Why would they just not let you leave once you're in here? Man. Wait. I can't use summons in here either? What gives? Well... <laughs> why not? Okay, I think those ruins are just worth it. It sucks, but... I don't think it's practical for me to fight this thing right now. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna try it a couple more times. Okay, hold on. What am I missing about... Like, I have FP. What else do I need to use summons? There's something I'm not understanding here. A floating spirit that illuminates its surroundings. Prone to tears, the jellyfish girl searches for her distant home. Will bravely spew poison at foes on her summoner's behalf. It seems her name is Aurelia. But why can't I use it? What am I... Uh... Inventory... With a spirit calling bell, you can use ashes to summon various spirits. It would appear I don't have a spirit calling bell. It can only be used in specific places where a gate emblem shows up on the left. Oh. Okay. <laughs> And there's no way to leave an Everjail once you've entered it. <laughs> uh, it's over here. So yeah. Yeah. True. This is all a little new to everybody at the, at this point.
Runes needed to level. So I don't even have enough runes for one level up, so it's no huge loss if I just let him go. What if, though? What if it could actually be done? Just water. Well, what else is around here? Or <laughs> these weird guys? No, that's fine. Damn it. Shit. Just, huh, what's this then? Wait, didn't I see someone just come out of there? Oh, this guy looks pretty hefty. Oh, Jesus! To think I've already upgraded my health a little bit. Doesn't feel like it. Alright, Joel, I'll see you around then. Appreciate you hanging out. God damn it. Man, drinking the flash takes a long time. Okay, that does a good chunk of damage. Uh-oh. Oh, that broke his stance. Cool. Neat. A helmet! <laughs> I'll, I can be a naked man with a helmet. Finally. Helm moored by Kaiden Cell Swords. These hulking, fearless mercenaries said to, to hail from the mountaintops of the wintry north. Gandalf. Are adept at fighting on horseback. Kaiden is the name of their home settlement. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's something. Well, what's in there, then? Defeating one by one required a head. Wait, can I grab the chest without him seeing me? 
No, I can't do it while crouched. I missed. Damn it. Oh, cool, that restored some of my blastage. Okay, well, I can get this chest. I can destroy all these pots because I feel like it, I guess. Arrows reach talisman. Okay, I don't actually know what talismans do like yet. Let's find out. Increases bow effective range. Nice. It's perfect for me. I might as well read the item description. Carried by hunters of beasts. And we can, okay. Ugh. <laughs> Oh wait, here's one of these things again. It's on this wall. Got it! Teardrop Scarabs. There are both Crimson and Cerulean Teardrop Scarabs. Defeat them to replenish the flasks that match their tie. Oh, they replenish them on the spot. Alright. Great. Oh, we're back down here. Huh, it does like a double hit when I charge up the... That's weird. It, it hit twice, though. Oh, it like... You can just, you can hold the heavy attack button to just hold your weapon out while riding. And then you can let go to actually swing with it. And when you, when you run into someone while it's held out, it has a hitbox. That's interesting. way. Uh, okay, well, I'm going back for that, if I can find the spot again. Oh, I think it shows me on the compass where my lost, um, yeah, where my lost runes are. Is that
What's up with that, man? I'll be taking that. I said I'll be taking that. Real choppy. It would seem you can't trample critters with your horse. I guess uh I guess I'm glad about that. Do I have to get off my horse? You please, I can read them. Your fingers, please, your fingers. Lady, I'm, real, I'm not really following. you can just decline. <laughs> Jeez, this shit again. What's up with that, man? It seems like I can just bypass that, but I wonder if I still have to go into it to actually progress. I mean, I can try going across this bridge that was over here, just to see what's over there.
Oh, she did say something about the bridge being out. Only why should that matter? Nomadic Warrior's Cookbook. Key items. Expands crafting repertoire. A record of crafting techniques left by roaming nomad warriors contains knowledge for surviving in the face of utter scarcity. Craft the following. Soft cotton, stanching boluses, and rainbow stone arrow. Wary of Liar. First off, pickle. A lot of blood stains on this spot from people just jumping off, I guess? Like, like doofuses? Can't imagine. Stop! Why do the dogs want to step to me right now? Damn it! Ugh. Oh my god, I can't like... Jeez, the dogs have got some schmovement. Come on! Why am I having such trouble with the freaking dogs? God damn it. I've used all my healing hands. <laughs> Lyernia of the Lakes. No. No, thank you. Not going through all that again. I sure would like a uh, Sight of Grace, though.
crystal bud. Hell yeah, dude. Oh. Checkpoint ahead. Okay, good. Oh. Oh, whoa. Cool. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'm supposed to be making my way toward, ultimately. Uh... Then again, maybe not. Huh. This building had an entrance somewhere. Stormvale Castle. Well, that seems like it's where I'm supposed to be. Shabiri Grape. Uh, hello? Don't tell me that's- oh, there's a ladder. It's a- it's another key item. Yellow oozing eyeball of the infirm. The surface is shriveled and the inside is squishy, not unlike a large overly ripe grape. Uh, give to the blind maiden to guide her to the distant light. You say so. I'm gonna be cheesed if I see an enemy in this place before I see another side of grace. Oh, there's that symbol. I guess I can use summons in here. It's a door. Why can't I? I can't attack in here. Huh. So what's the deal with this? I mean, I got the grape thing.
There was some, there was a message out front that said checkpoint ahead, but I guess that was a lie. I mean, there's got to be another side of grace around here somewhere. Oh, this is one. Okay. <laughs> I probably will take the rest, actually. I don't think I have any... I have one flask. Hello. Forgive me. I've been... testing you to determine if the Elden Ring would truly have you if you had the metal to endure this long and arduous path. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent had your measure from the very start, whereas I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the round table hold, oh. gathering place of tarnished champions, guided by grace. Okay. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment. I'm guessing this is dependent on the number of sites of grace you find, and not finding specific ones. The round table hole is a place where is a place where tarnished gather, guided by grace. Combat is prohibited on the premises due to a pact of non-aggression. This rule is in effect when the round table icon is displayed. Oh, that's what that icon is. So, that building I was in was considered part of the round table hold? Or it was just another non combat area? The round table hold is located outside of this world. It can be it can only be reached through sites of grace. It can also be accessed by using the map to travel. Yay, hub area. Okay. Oh. There are, are people this here. This is a rare occasion. I can't remember the last time a new tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. As your senior, I bid you welcome. It is safe here. You may let down your guard. Allow me a word of advice as your senior. You are a mere visitor to the round table. Nothing more. A house guest. Yet to earn their keep. Remember your place, newcomer. Okay. There's nothing left to say. <laughs> Thank you for that warning. Greetings. Nice to see you again. My name is Roderica. Oh, she has a name. I should have told you sooner. Isn't this place impressive, though? The round table hold. Covert quarters of the two fingers. And gathering place of champions who vie to become Elden Lord. I never knew the guidance bestowed upon us tarnished had such fantastic roots. Although, it's all a bit much for me, in truth. I'm still looking for my own purpose. <laughs> it's all a bit much. But I'm still looking for my. Okay, own. that's where we leave it off, I guess. Well, what else is there to do in here? Who else do we got? Ah, hello. You must be new here. I'm. Well, just call me Dialos. 
The honor of one's house holds little import in these lands. By the way, have you met a young woman named Lanya on your travels? Have I? She's my servant, but fickle as the wind. Take your eyes off her for but a moment, and she's good as gone. If you find her, please Lanya. To tell me. Be sure to tell me if you meet her. She's a servant to my house. She's been my companion since childhood. I've lost count of the number of times I've had to find her like this. Honestly, she's such a little tomboy. Be sure to tell me if you meet okay. a young woman. What? Hold on, there's more. What exactly have you got going on there, friend? <laughs> oh. What's your whole deal? I see you've just arrived. Welcome to the round table hold. I'm Corin, a man of the cloth. I teach incantations. The strength granted us by the two fingers. And explore the secrets of the Golden Order, so that one day, if a tarnished of the Round Table Hold should become Elden Lord, I might counsel them, ensuring order regains its proper form, writing rule over men. By the way, do you still see it? The guidance of grace. You do. Wonderful news. Mm. Most tarnished are blind to it these days. You are something of a rare breed. Well, what do you say? Care to learn an incantation okay. with two fingers? This is the only NPC in this room so far ha that has demonstrated having a purpose to me. <laughs> Other than like a vague quest line, maybe. With the shop menu, you can spend runes to purchase various items. You can also sell items for runes. Each merchant stocks a different variety of items for purchase. So I can buy miracles, essentially. Or sorceries? No, I think sorceries are still called sorceries in this game. These are equivalent to miracles. Catch flame and flame sling. sling. Uh, oh, I can actually use some of these, but I don't have... I don't have a, the, a spellcasting item for incantations. You. you would think he would sell one of those. in here? Strong foe. In short, no jumping. Huh. But this is the hub area. There's a, is there a boss fight in the hub area? <laughs> Fort Knight. I don't know why that got me. Oh boy. Even the hub area has a lot of ex exploring to do. Why is it always door? Okay, let me just uh, sort of go in order here. I guess, yeah, there's really only two hallways to explore out of this central room. Oh, a blacksmith! Sweet! 
<laughs> I feel like those should have been switched around. Oh, clouded mirror stand. Apply cosmetics. Oh wait, I can change my whole appearance from here? Okay, that's good to know, I guess. Greetings, great champion called by grace. I am Fia. Fia. Circumstances have compelled my stay at the round table hold. Great champion, would you allow me to hold you? Um, and briefly, perhaps you might share with me some of your lively vigor and your stout hearted. Is this woman a succubus? So will grant me the warmth of a champion, and you, I am sure, will bear a Balderkin's blessing. Do you a what? Think it's vulgar, perhaps. Where I come from, it is a sacred act. If you're comfortable with me being mostly nude, I mean. <laughs> She offered, so oh, my thanks. I gotta know what happens. You are very warm. Baldekin's blessing. What you felt light up inside you was a Baldekin's blessing. Though it is but a fleeting thing, I am afraid. Come back to me, should you require another. I will take you in my arms as often as you need. I should take my helmet off for this next time, I think. <laughs> okay. Well, that was nice. I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you? Once more, the blessing is still aflame in your breast, dear. Would you like to be held? Regardless? No, I think I got my fill. Then good day to you, my dear. Yeah, have it. See ya. <laughs> okay, Baldekin's blessing. What was that exactly? Use uses FP to temporarily boost poise. Okay. Great. I mean, I guess it's something that I can come back here and get if I use it up, so might as well equip it. Wait, hold on. Hmm. So, material used for crafting items. But it's not in the crafting materials category. Ruin fragment. Uh, found near places where ruins have fallen from the sky. Is that what's happening? <laughs> Can be used for crafting or simply for throwing at enemies. I see. It's also a thrown item. These shards of stone are believed to have once been part of a temple in the sky. They glow with a faint light from within. Well, I don't have that much stuff to equip right now, so I might as well... Put it on. Oh, this also recovers FP. Uh, I don't see why not. Oh, pardon me. Okay. Well, that was something. Alright, here's the blacksmith. And he's a big fella, isn't he? You're a new face. No matter. It's all the same. Lay out your arms. Let's get smithing. Ash of War duplication. I require some sort of... Oh, lost ashes of war. Huh. 
Wild Strike uses on axes and hammers as well as curved swords and great swords. Colossal weapons exception. Wild Strike swing armament with wild abandon. Hold to continue swinging can be followed up with a normal or strong attack. Well, I probably shouldn't use this while it's the only one I have, and while I don't know if I'm gonna stick with this weapon. into it. Well, no grudge against you. My being a prisoner is no fault of yours. Besides, I don't mind smithing. Despite my differences, the weapons get stronger all the same. Given time, technique never fails. Besides, it helps me forget. The sheer terror of her. Of whomst? <laughs> Why is there not another uh, another dialogue option to follow that up with? Huh. Smithing stone. Okay. So I need at least one more smithing stone to upgrade my club at the, at the moment. And I can't upgrade the scaling. Uh. With the Ashes of War menu, you can use Ashes of War to grant skills and affinities to your armaments and sites of grace. An armament can only have one skill. Any skill it previously had will be lost. By adding an affinity, you can alter an armament's attack affinity. Boost attribute scaling and more. An armament's type determines what skill... Yeah, I think it told me about this stuff already when I first picked one up. Oh, it, it, it'll increase the strength scaling. But reduce the base damage. Uh... Huh. There are a lot of numbers in the FP cost, and I was hoping it would further explain what each one means. I'm guessing there's an... because it's, for uh, Wild Strikes it was saying you can keep holding it to keep doing it. So it's got, got to be something to do with that. Uh, I don't think I have anything I really need to sell. Well, there's got to be an NPC in here who just sells, like, weapons, who just sells you equipment. Raise the tree. Did that phantom just... jump down into that closed door? <laughs> First off, you don't have the right. Why is it always destruction? I mean, you would have had to blow up the barrels to put that sign there in the first place, buddy. So, I don't see how you're any better. Uh... You gotta love the Souls... You gotta love the From Software community. <laughs> What's up with you don't have the right? People are really enjoying you don't have the right in particular. It is pretty funny that that's a option you can use in the message builder. Pickle? And pickle, for that matter. Door. Yeah, there's a lot of doors that I don't seem to be able to go into yet. Okay, well, what else have we got? So, that was just this balcony. I mean, I could probably just... 
I'm afraid to find out what happens if I try. Possibly nothing, but... I mean, it's a hub area. There's only so much harm I could do to myself in the hub area, you would think, right? Surely. Are we talking? Oh, it gave me his gesture. Okay. That's all that happens when you try to talk to this guy? You get the pose he's doing? He has nothing to say? Edge? <laughs> Lord! <laughs> uh, good. Edge Lord ahead. Oh, sorry about your books. Twin Maiden Husks. Purchase. Is this the... I can buy items from them. Is this the general purpose item vendor in this game? Twin Maiden Husks. Rune Arc. A shard of the shattered Elden Ring. Grants the blessing of an equipped great rune upon use. Okay. Memory stone increases memory slot, so there's an item you buy that does that. Said to be a fragment of the black moon that once hung above the eternal city. Twelve strength required for that. I could buy it, but I wouldn't be able to have enough runes to upgrade my strength properly to wield it. Oh, I could two-hand it, though. I'm two-handing right now, anyway, so... Uh... I wish I could... It's D, strength and deck scaling. I should probably buy something with better scaling if I'm gonna just buy an, a weapon. Armor is pretty expensive. <laughs> I mean, if I just keep playing through the game, I'm sure I'm gonna pick up weapons and armor. I've just got my helmet so far. <laughs> Dagger. No reason I couldn't dual wheel, I suppose, but... 125. I mean, 123. Here's a here's a proper shield. The heater shield is back from the Souls games, but it's a bit expensive to buy from the vendor. Oh wait, I might need this. <laughs> In the vicinity of a rebirth monument. Yeah, I might actually want to be able to use the spirits I have. Well, I could buy a weapon just to have a different weapon to try out. But I'm sure that'll come naturally with time. Oh, yeah. Weird. It's 
So... Okay, this is everything I can equip to a quick slot. Do I... Uh, equipments... Making sure I understand this right. When it comes to summoning spirits. I guess I just need to have... It was a key item, right? Yes, I guess I just have to have this in my inventory and now, that I, and now I can use them in areas where they're allowed. And I equip the spirits themselves. I choose which one I want to use. To my, uh, equip them to my quick items. Damn, is that it? I wonder if I have enough... Okay, I have enough for an upgrade. Uh... There's a couple of things in here that require 12 strength. So I guess I could start working toward that. Man, was that really it? I mean, more doors I can't open. Oh, it has a physical, a physical location on the map, but it's not, like... I'm pretty sure they said it like wasn't part of the game world. And then you, I guess you can just use the map to warp back out. to a site of grace you visited from. Huh. Well, I guess I've seen what there is to see in here. There's nothing left. Okay. Oh yeah, so where's this pointing me now? That away. Huh. Can I... I doubt I can jump down there, say. It looks like if I go ahead here, it might go down around that way, though. Huh. Yeah. Maybe? Sort of. More zombies. Hmm. Wow, oh, whoa. Sweet. <laughs> Damn, dude. We got, like, galaxies and nebulae and stuff? Jeez. Drink it in. What is... What is this? Do I want to stick around and find out? Okay, it seems... Shit. Lock on!
Oh, there's more? Come on. Damn it. And it gets back up. Alright, I'm out. I could have sworn I had an item drop, but if it got back up, maybe it's not still available. Freaking. Wait, that didn't really do damage to me. Okay, it was just the row of fruit sitting there. Oh, stop! <laughs> so rude. I gotta work on sharpening up my reaction times to seeing acquire minerals. <laughs> so I don't keep having to turn around like that. Minerals. Acquire materials. Require minerals. Okay, maybe that symbol is the one that means I can finally use summons. Okay. Oh, this thing has kind of a lot of health, actually. What a pleasant little chime it makes. Oh my god, there's so much... Oh, uh, my jellyfish is getting beaten up. Oh, I did have enough um, runes to spend on a level up, and I forgot to do that before leaving the last Sight of Grace. I don't know if Sight of Grace is going to catch on. <laughs> I think people are probably just going to keep calling them bonfires. Dude. I'm spent. Okay, now run away. It doesn't chase me very far. Oh, no, here it comes. What? Whoa! Didn't expect all that. I wonder if that's an item that you can just get, like a, a thrown item that summons little magic projectiles. It uses a lot of stamina, actually. Damn these rocks. Now oh, what did that do? Yeah, it steals my flask, but it, I'm spent of those anyway.
Oh, a different helmet. How come I've only been able to find helmets so far, man? I mean, it's a sample size of two, but... Uh... Better resistance against slash, magic, and fire, but worse lightning and holy. I guess I'll take it. Same weight. It's really down to which one looks cooler at this point. Uh... Is that my face? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I guess I'll take that one. I wonder uh, if there's really any reward for infiltrating these little encampments. There's probably items on the ground that you can pick up, but they seem difficult to penetrate. That being the idea, I guess. Or sometimes people will just be standing around with their backs to you. Whoops. Oh, that, uh... Dang it, I waited too long. Oh my god. I don't have any more healing items. Okay. Ugh. Bolts. I have no health and no flasks. Oh, more crafting stuff. Uh, maybe if I defeat all the enemies in this camp, it'll count as a group and restore some of my flasks? Smoldering butterfly. What is that? Is that another... Shit. I can't even block anything right now. Luckily, I can kind of just... Uh, okay, what was that? Smoldering butterfly. Oh, crafting material. Interesting. It looks like that guy might be the last one left here. If I can take him out without getting hit, I'd like to see if it restores my flasks. Unlock and run away. There must be a limit to how far he'll chase me out. No, <laughs> God. I 
think it's returning. I mean, maybe I can just cheese it by backstabbing and running away. Wait, where did it go? Backstab didn't even do that much damage, though. That was scary. Jeez. <laughs> God, how many of those things do you have? Woof! Okay. Okay, that did restore my flask. Thank goodness. Jeez. Well, I guess I'll just be on my way then. Plenty of roa fruit. As soon as I find something to craft using roa fruit, I'll be all set. Oh. I don't know if I like the look of this place. Oh, I don't have the option of talking to Melina here. Yeah. Okay, I can go to Strength 12, so that'll give me some more equipment options. Oh, uh, well, I kind of just spent it all. Why don't you take a look at my but I'll be sure to come back when I have some. Oh, but don't ask me how I got my hands on them, eh? Oh, lantern. Yeah, I think I'm going to want to get that eventually. Astrologer's staff. Yeah, so the starting gear of the various uh, classes becomes available to you eventually, I guess. I'm pretty sure Astrologer is one of those. Oh, attached to waste. A small waste-worn lantern that illuminates surroundings. Huh. I don't think I even have a torch yet. 
Uh, what the hell is glowing over here? I gotta know. Glintstone Firefly. So this is Glintstone, then. Whatever. What are these? Okay. Nothing to concern myself with, I don't think. Okay, well this place doesn't seem all that pleasant. Let's just see where the uh, side of Grace was pointing me to next. Oh yeah, I do have golden runes. I um, if I go to sell, it'll probably tell me how much they're worth for using them. Get that away. Discerning eye, you have. Such confidence. Um, golden rune. So they're worth 200 each, and I've got eight of them. So I have access to 1600 dosh, which is not enough for very much. I could get a shield, and I have enough strength for a shield now. I should probably get a shield. It would be all the golden runes I have right now, but actually, I don't need to use them all because I have 200 liquid right now. Let me just, just... Just humor me for a second here. Generally, they sell for the same amount that you get by using them, just for convenience's sake, but, uh... Let me just make sure. 200, okay. Ah, not every I think I will actually buy a shield. How much was the shield again? 1500? Oh, just a thousand. Uh. Okay. No, I still went over. Whatever. Uh. Yeah, I wasn't factoring in the amount of runes I've gotten from just. from using the one just then. Uh. I mean, I could buy other stuff with 200 runes, but nothing I really need. No ranged weapons yet. Okay, I have a shield. Um. Okay, I can two-hand the shield. No skill for that, though. It just has a shield bash. Great. Cool. Okay, so this way, vaguely, was where it was pointing next. Yeah, still pretty much naked. <laughs> I found a couple of different helmets to choose from now, but still no armor of any other type. And I haven't, uh... Really bought... I haven't bought any yet, either, but I got a shield from this guy. <laughs> Oh. I'm sorry. God, I don't know what came over me. <laughs> Won't happen again. Uh, it was kind of pointing me directly up this cliff. Birds. Uh, I don't suppose the horse can jump up there. Not exactly. Well, maybe... Uh, 
Eh. It seems so close. Like, why would there be those platforms jutting out from the cliff face if not for you to jump onto them? No? Really? Let me just be sure. That's weird. Oh, whoops. Nothing I need to concern myself with. Spirit Spring Jumping. Oh, cool. I was wondering when this would come up. Jump while on horseback near a Spirit Spring to ride its current high into the air. You won't take damage from jumping into a Spirit Spring while on horseback, even from a great height. A at a Spirit Spring while on horseback. Get me out of here! Thank you! <laughs> Horse jumps! Okay, is this another one of those optional boss fights? Everjail? Yeah, Malefactor's Everjail. I don't think I need to mess with that right now. At least not while I have any runes at all to lose. I can just warp back here and try it again later. Shit. Damn it. Oh, that actually dealt a chunk of, chunk of damage there. Uh... The game warned me about what would happen if my horse dies, but when I take damage on horseback, it seems like I just take the damage. So I'm not sure what would cause my horse in particular to die. Oh jeez, stop! Neat. You really gotta just stop and look around every so often in this game. Just take in your surroundings. What? What's all that about? What the hell? I was dead before I knew what was happening. Damn. <laughs> I just, I don't know if I spaced out and I didn't.
spot that enemy, or if it was actually just hard to spot. Jeez. Oh, there's an item on one of those protrusions there. Uh, well... I mean, I think I was missing a bit of my health, but that still did a lot of damage really quick. There be others. Yeah, here we go. Sacrificial twit. Oh, it's a talisman. Will be lost on death in place of runes. Okay. I don't think I need to bother with that just yet. Huh. Uh, can I climb back up here, or do I just need to drop back down and get back up? Oh? No, probably not. Oh, there are, these dudes are just kind of lurking in the grass here. Ugh, piss off. Oh, here. Okay. I don't remember dying on that rock. Yeah, I better just keep moving. What is the deal with these guys? Pardon me.
I'm a little leery about exploring this swamp. Oh, what the hell? No, I don't like the bugs. Oh, giant crab? <laughs> Is it time for crab? The crab doesn't seem bothered by me. Whoop. Just tucked away in a corner somewhere, every so often you'll see a message that says something like, Seek Pickle. And that's what's really beautiful about a game like Elden Ring. Oh, it's it's not off. What am I... what's dying over there? Did the bats sometime, somehow manage to fall off a cliff and die? Can't they fly? Oh, here's one of these... these things. I guess that would just respawn me in this camp if I had died there. Unless there's something else interesting around here. Yeah, more crab. Uh, it's getting real gloomy in here. At least it's not a poisonous swamp, although it has poison blooms in it. Jeez, they're just coming up out of the... Just run in one direction for long enough, eventually you'll find something to investigate. Jeez.
Boy, the horse can really stop on a dime from a full gallop. Okay, cool. I'm gonna check out this tower, but how do, oh, what the hell is that? Converted tower. Erudition guide thee. What does erudition even mean? Cuckoo glintstone. Five of them. Uses FP to produce a magic bolt. Is it? It's just a. Oh, it's just a. A magic spell in the form of a consumable item. A faux sorcery used by the Knights of the Cuckoo. <laughs> a craftable item. Uh, how many? Only six? But it is consumable. You can craft them, though. Yeah, that must be the item those. Dudes were throwing at me earlier. Uh, well, there's... This tower seems a lot taller. Like, there must be more to this. There's an item. I knew if I looked down along the wall, there I'd spot something. Of course, that means I'm gonna have to go down there and then. Uh, I wonder. I can use that to mitigate fall damage. Magic grease. Coats armament inflicting magic damage. All right, pretty much what you'd expect. I guess I could have just circled around the back of the building in the first place without having to jump down from the wall to, to do it. Can I... Whoops. Sorry. Pardon me. Aha. Memory stone. Nice. Yeah, I had a feeling exploring this tower would be of a benefit to a spell, a spell casting build. Be wary of mimicry. Oh man, I didn't even think about that. I could have gotten eaten just then. I wonder if I can summon the horse while falling. I kind of doubt it. No. <laughs> So if I fail a jump while I don't have my horse, I kind of just hold that. Um... Increases memory slots. Do I just have more while I have this, or...? 
It's considered a key item. Do I have to take it somewhere to consume it? Not clear. So this one doesn't seem to be giving me a marker pointing to... I have three now. I don't remember how many I had before. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I should spend... Well, then again, there's other stuff I could save up for, but I should probably spend runes on levels. I'm not sure what to level up right now, though. Stamina... Maybe? I would want to, uh... Kind of have a specific goal in mind. I want to find an item that I want to use and then upgrade my stats to be able to try out. <sighs> yeah, it's not pointing me. That's weird. Uh... What? Is that the tree? No, that's the tree. Well, I'll still go check out this tree. <laughs> I wonder if that's what I'm supposed to be making my way toward, ultimately. It seems... Well, very far off, for one thing. What's this? Yeah. Wait. That didn't seem to damage me. Mounted combat is pretty satisfying. <laughs> Racers! Hell yeah! <laughs> Worn by the guardians of the minor Erd trees. Okay, so this is a minor Erd tree I'm looking at. In accordance with an ancient pact with the Erd tree, it is said that their deaths led not to destruction, but instead to renewed eternal life as guardians. Can I see what this is now? Examine. I have to get off my horse to do that. Summoning pools. In each area you might you may find effigies of martyrs. These effigies are summoning pools. You'll find it easy to summon other players at these locations as co-op and hostile summoning signs created by with small effigies gather at summoning pools. Does that mean there's a boss fight nearby? <laughs> small golden effigy. Sends a co-op sign to summoning pools. Oh. Would that be... said area boss? Oh, 
I wonder if one of those uh, statues is nearby here. I'm sure there is one. Oh no, wait, that this is one, isn't it? Yeah. So I don't have much to lose if I just die to this boss immediately. Besides, I've got a helmet and bracers now, and a shield for that matter. Dude, I'm all set. I'm invincible. Minor air tree. Air tree avatar, alright. So... If I start this boss fight, can I just run away? There's no fog wall, it's a pretty open area. Can you just opt out of boss fights if you... Is that what happens? <laughs> no, I think that's just one of its normal attacks. Okay, yeah, the health bar wore off eventually. So in some cases... I guess there'll be... Open areas with bosses that you can run away from. Uh, I wonder if I should try to fight it on my own. Oh, you sure have got a lot of arms, huh? Missed. Okay, well, I only used one flask, and... I think it would be easier to just attempt this and respawn nearby, rather than go back to the... I mean, not easier, but it would be more efficient to just attempt this and respawn nearby rather than having to go back to the grace. Okay, <laughs> it's got kind of a lot of health. But it seems like it's a lot of its attacks are avoidable. Seems doable, if time-consuming. Ow. At least the stomp isn't damaging me. Damn it. I actually want to conserve my stamina here so I can make a dash. Uh oh. Oh, damn it! I thought I would have more time to react to those things. Okay, if I just run far enough away and. run around them, they will, they'll tend to miss me. Wait, what else was... Oh, was that my horse's health bar? Huh? Huh. Damn it, I'm having a hard time hitting it. I'm dead. <laughs> Hits. Okay, if I do let it hit me with those melee attacks, I'm, it's pretty much going to kill me in one hit, it seems. Wait, there was a stake of Marika there, wasn't there? Why didn't it give me the option to respawn there? I mean, I guess this is close enough. Huh. 
Oh, I can attack off the other side. Duh. I don't know why I never thought to just press the other shoulder buttons while riding the horse. Is this where it ended up? That's weird. Hey. It's off. I didn't actually take damage. Damn. That time I did. Jeez. Stop. <laughs> Can I interact with this tree in any way? Or do I just get something for killing the avatar? There must be some significance to the giant tree. Not the giant tree, but this still pretty giant tree. I mean, I guess I'm not really required to do this boss fight. Oh, whoops. I wasn't even paying attention. Tarnished Golden Sunflower. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep going. Goodbye. How far out does it follow me? Jeez. Okay. Further than I expected. Trina's Lily. <laughs> Behold, dead end. It's the edge of the world as we know it. Yep, sure it is. Uh, yeah, that's the same one of those. That's the same tower I was just looking at earlier. Where's the swamp? Oh, man, piss off. Well, 
Why? Why can't I open my map? There it goes. That was odd. What's this then? Guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. What? <laughs> oh, it is pointing me somewhere. Bat almost killed me, man. Damn. There's a marker for this on the map, but it doesn't say what it is exactly. But it pointed me down to this path, I guess. Something about returning to the roots. Oh, more. I'm just gonna keep going. Who needs them? I'm so confused. Oh. <laughs> oh, great. Dark. Roads and catacombs. Okay, at least there's this.
Okay, so you can just travel to the hub area at any time through the map. That's cool. Oh, what is this? What is that, bleed? What is this thing even? Oh, wait a minute. Do I not have a parry with the shield? Wonder, uh, wonder how parrying works in this game. No, that also just two hands it. Huh. God, what are these things even? I guess that means this area ends in a boss fight. Sure. Somewhere, a heavy door has opened. Come on, stop throwing shit at me. You can still just cheese stuff with Dark Souls style backstabs. Good to know. Kidding that time. Oh, what the? Where the hell did the other one come from? Jeez. Oh my god, I have such little health. Jeez. When I get that, when I get those runes back, I think I should invest them into. Well. I'm also naked. <laughs> I have low health, but I also have no defense. Okay, I mean, that works. dark in here, man. Yeah. That works. Just corner them and love them.
sure I can't convince you to come up here. I'm still not even sure what that build-up is. Dick. Oh, why did that do so much damage just for a little throwing knife? I gotta see what's behind the illusory wall. Can't use summons here. One damage. I think those are mostly meant for pulling, not actually dealing damage. Oh, great. Oh, that broke its stance. What the heck is that? A big mushroom shield? Holy crap! Okay, these things have really weak posture. Or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I just remember that the shield counterattack existed and it uh, works well against these guys, it turns out. Human Bone Shard, and Watchdog Staff. Okay. 34 Strength? What the hell is this? Colossal Weapon. Okay, unexpected. A large stone staff embedded with glintstone, wielded by Erdtree burial watchdogs who protect catacombs. The watchdogs, battered and broken over their lengthy tenure, rule the catacombs and are even said to command the imps. Sorcery of the Crows here. Channel magic into the glintstone to activate an ancient sorcery, producing floating magic projectiles that chase enemies automatically. Oh cool, I guess. What was the other thing I got? Human Bone Shard. Oh yeah, there it is. Crafting material. Oh yeah, that's the move against these guys. Jeez! Okay. Pressure plates. Let's, uh... <laughs> Let's uh, watch my step a little bit more then. Oh, I kind of got one stuck in me, huh? Wonder how long that's gonna be there. 
That guy was fighting something in this room. I haven't spotted anything yet. Is this a dead end? Nope. Just scrambling around. Shit. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty cool addition to your kit for this game. Oh, my, my FPS is much better in this little dungeon here. Are those things going to come to life and attack me when I go for the chest? Or just when I rub up against them? Oh, what's that then? Is that all it does, is throw those things? What a nuisance. Oh, now it wants to melee. Damn it! <laughs> How annoying. Well, there's the other one standing there, and I don't want it to... Ow. Damn it, man. Everything does so much damage to me right now. I'm struggling with how to approach this. Oh, that was close. Okay. Yeesh. Okay, now. How do I tell if a chest is a mimic? <laughs> the heck? Touching the bloodstains doesn't seem to be doing anything. I'm trying to see how these people died. <laughs> No hidden path ahead. Okay, it seems safe. Raya Lucaria Soldier Ashes. Okay, I guess that's uh, it for this area. <laughs> it costs more FP than I have at the moment. Uh, FP, yeah, it, oh wait, then, oh no, okay, the red just means it's a, uh, it's worse in some way than what I got equipped currently. A trio of spirits consisting of two disposable foot soldiers and their superior. Soldiers of Raya Lucaria were also known as the Cuckoos. They were given free reign by the Academy to wage war as they pleased, and they were infamous for their rapacious ways. Uh, sure.
shit, I forgot about that. I think I'd actually better call it a night here. I don't feel like I've made much progress despite all my running around, but I've been at this for almost five hours. Uh, so I'm just gonna go back to the round table. Okay, I guess I just gotta go outside the dungeon. Yeah, the summoning pool thing made me think that there would be a boss fight at the end of this. So, uh, when I get back to it, I guess I'll just travel to the last site of grace that actually gave me a directional marker. Because I'm kind of wandering aimlessly right now. for my own purpose. It's not easy by any means, but it's what I must do. You're telling me I possess some kind of gift? I don't believe you. But if I do have this talent, and goodness knows it would be my first, I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. Certainly, he does appear intimidating and holds no love for us tarnished. But I know he's trapped here at the round table hold, so I can tell. He's a gentle soul underneath it all. <laughs> if I do have a talent for spirit, spirit tuning, tuning, I suppose I should try to hone it. I'll ask Master. Wasn't gone that long. Lay out your arms then. The girl. What about her? Are you out of your mind? Who'd stay with an ugly brute who only knows how to smith? Absurd. Besides, she'd never agree to it. I refuse to believe it. I don't doubt you, but I know when something's too good to be true. Be sure to tell me if you meet a young woman. She's a servant to my house. She's been my companion. I've lost count of the number right. of times I've had to okay. fight it like this. Ah, 
Well then. May the golden... Oh wait, did this door open? I guess I need to keep exploring this place every time I come back. Oh, wait, no, he was outside before, he's just in this room now. Oh, are you aggrieved at the notion you were but a visitant here? I was really stewing the, the fact that he said that to me, and I held on to it until now. Stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. If those words held any meaning to you, follow the guidance of grace. Lay low the shard bearers and claim for yourself a great rune. Do so, and the doors to the round tables in the chamber will open, mm. and you will receive the wisdom of the two fingers. Once the wisdom of the two fingers becomes your own, I'll impart to you a proper welcome. As a true member of the round table, I have high hopes for you. I'm sick and tired of them. These Nambi Pambi tarnished think us no more than a shelter from the rain. We've spoken long enough. I have matters to attend to. Real no nonsense kind of guy. Yeah, I guess I should see if any more of the doors in this area are open. And I guess I'll keep trying to talk to this guy. Of course, it doesn't even give you a prompt to. After you've gotten his gesture. Oh yeah, this is... Yeah, I actually have some money to spend now. Uh, armor is expensive, though. I know in the Souls games you would occasionally be able to loot a full armor set off of a corpse in certain places, so I don't really feel like it would be a good idea to save up money for armor. Even weapons, really. Damage is a little low. I could buy a weapon that a weapon that just has higher base damage, but I feel like I'd rather invest my runes into leveling up and just take what I find. Yes, tree, indeed. How come no one's actually sitting at the round table? Are there these chairs here? Anyway, I'm pretty sure I would have spotted any other open doors if there were one. Let me just make sure. I don't think there were any out of this room. Just the hug lady. And I think I already looked down here in this trip. You don't have the right. Yeah, well... It's weird that there isn't uh, an actual... site of grace for you to spend your runes at in this great hall. Or else I'm dumb and I've just missed it.
What's that? What is that ray coming out of her chin? There must be a... Just a little visual glitch, I guess. That's weird. Only happens from that angle. Nope, there it is again. What is it, like, where does it lead? <laughs> is that even showing up on the stream? Yeah, okay. It's not just me. Uh... Yeah, so the last couple of sites of grace I went to weren't pointing me anywhere in particular. Let me... Let's see, there was a vendor... Oh, wait. Okay, but you can see on the map where each one is pointing you, so that's good. Like, I guess they just point to other sites of grace. Like, there must be one over here. Okay. I guess just finding those is the way to uh, make your way around and encounter the interesting stuff. So... Well, it, well, if that's the case, it would seem this one is just pointing at this one. And ditto for these two. But uh, I guess I'll just go back and explore any sites of grace that are still pointing to something that I haven't found yet. Unless each one is pointing at something else significant? Uh, so I guess I'll go back here and go from there next time. I better... Yeah, I'm gonna go to this one just to spend some... Actually, I think that vendor at the other one had some stuff I maybe wanted to buy. Or wait. That was over here? The Yarnia Lake Shore? Lake facing cliffs. Yeah, that was this one. And the, oh, there's another Everjail there, but not something I'm gonna wanna mess with right now. Uh Yeah, this guy. Whom Horsa accidentally smacked earlier. So, the least I could do is buy some of his stuff. Uh, oh, I guess the lantern. Reusable. So what kind of, like, is it considered a talisman, or how do you equip it? Only way to find out, I guess. It's the most expensive bloody thing he's got. <laughs> no. Oh, it's a quick item? Oh, you, that's right, you just use it to turn it on and off. Uh, okay. I mean, I guess it doesn't consume anything by being on. So this one's pointing that way. Yeah, okay. Okay, so it's good to be able to just consult the map to see where the sites of grace are pointing and get a general idea of where to go, to, of where to go next, but I think I'll... Since this is further back, I think I'll go back to this one and explore that next. Uh, when we come back to it next time, because it's getting late. And I'm about to hit the five hour mark on this stream. Okay. Still naked. Alright. <laughs> 
Well, it still says I have one viewer. And I don't know who that would be, frankly. I don't think Dave's even still in the chat, but if anyone else is that is uh, still out there listening to this, appreciate you hanging out. And uh, I might play a little bit of this tomorrow. I might not. We'll just see how I feel. Uh, but either way, probably Monday or Tuesday, I'll be back to it as well. So, good night.